Welcome to 10 minutes lectures in computer science. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the relational database keys such as super key, candidate key and primary key. In relational database management system, a relation has to possess certain properties. Out of these properties, a very important one is each tuple should be distinct. That is, every record in that table should be unique. For example, let us take this employee table. Suppose I try to insert a record E205 which is CSC as a fourth record. If you look at this one, there exists a same record already in the table. Hence, this record is not accepted. At least slight change for example either emp id or ename or department or phone if there is a slight change in the value this record can be accepted otherwise not to safeguard this property we need to have one or more attributes of a relation that can uniquely identify every record in that relation that is a notion of key a key is set of one or more attributes of a table that can uniquely identify every record in that table. Let us explain with an example. Let us take this employee table. Now, let us find the key for this table. That means if I write a select statement with that particular attribute along with the value in the var class, I must get either 0 or 1 record at maximum, not more than 1 records. Such an attribute which is given in the var class can be considered as a key. In this case, select star from employee where employee id equal to e101 is going to return only 1 record for this instance. Likewise, select star from employee where employee name equal to Raghu and department equal to CSC. So both conditions must be valid. That is Raghu and CSC, the combination. It is going to give either zero or maximum on record, not more than that. So both queries return maximum on record. Hence the attribute or set of attributes in the where class can form the key for this table. On the other hand, suppose if you have a query select star from employee where e name equal to Ravi or any other name, here we have two records with e name Ravi. It's not a single record. It is not uniquely identifying, uniquely pointing to a particular record. Hence, employee name cannot be a key. Also, where department equal to CSE, here CSE results in three records. Hence, department cannot be a key as well. Right, And this need not be true for uh, all the values stored in that particular column. Even if one value in a particular column violates this property, that column or attribute cannot be considered as a key. Now we shall discuss about three different key concepts used in relational database management system. The one is super key. The other one is candidate key and the third one is primary key and all have the same properties. They are going to uniquely determine, uniquely recognize a record in a table. Super key. Again, okay. it is a, an attribute or set of attributes which uniquely identifies a tuple in that relation. Right. But the idea is it can be any attribute or any combination of attributes that can uniquely determine the value of a record a record for example employee id can be a uh, super key because it is uniquely identifying every record in this table likewise the combination of employee id and employee name and employee id along with the department it forms a super key employee name and department as as a key for this particular instance of the table and employee ID, employee name, department and so on. It can go, it can go based on the instance or the 
relation that we are going to have. So these are all considered as a super key for this table. It is not the entire list. I have just stopped with five keys. Okay. Next one is candidate key. Candidate key is a super key for which no proper subset consists of a super key. A proper subset of set A is a subset which is not equal to set A. That means I can generate any number of subsets using the elements from the set A, but the set itself cannot be considered as a subset. That is what proper subset. So the subset excluding the given set is a proper subset. Let us check the five super keys that we identified in the previous slide can form a candidate key or not. Here, for the first case, employee ID, the proper subset of the set with employee ID element is a null set. So that subset, the proper subset, does not consist employee ID, does not consist any super key in it. Hence, the employee ID is a candidate key. And for the second case, employee ID and employee name, the proper subset consists of employee ID as one set, employee name as a subset, and null set as a subset. And out of these three, employee ID is already in the list of super keys. Hence, employee ID, employee name combination cannot be a candidate key. As a third one, employee ID department, we have the sub proper subset with employee ID in that proper subset, which is a key, hence this combination also not a valid candidate key. And the third one, next one, employee name and department, it has the proper subset, employee name as one set, department name as subset, and null set as subset. So none of them is part of the super key, is a super key on its own. Hence, employee name and department is a valid candidate key. And the final set, when we take the uh, proper subset, we find the sets, subsets, employee ID, employee name, employee name department, employee ID department, and so on. Here, employee ID is a super key. Employee ID, uh, employee name department is another super key. Hence, this combination is not considered as a candidate key. So we can conclude that we have only two candidate keys out of the five super keys. The next one is primary key. We have identified two candidate keys so far. And primary key is one of the candidate keys. We can choose any one candidate key as a primary key for this relation. Because when we create a table, we need to uh, designate one or set of attributes as the primary key. So we have two candidate keys. One is employee ID, other one is employee name, department combination. In most of the cases, we choose a candidate key with single attribute as the primary key because that is easy to search for the records, to search for the values and so on. Hence, employee ID in this table is chosen as the primary key for employee table. Here I want to tell you about uh, the composite key. Composite key is a candidate key that consists of more than one attribute. Very simple, it's a candidate key. It can be used as a primary key, but the difference is it consists of more than one attribute as a key. So, we have employee ID is one candidate key, employee name department is another candidate key. Now, if I choose employee ID as the primary key, it's a primary key. Now, when I choose employee name department combination as the primary key, it also referred as a composite key. That means here in this combination, employee name along with department, both are required to uniquely determine any records in this table. In this lecture, we discussed about relational database keys such as super key,
candidate key and primary key. Also, we discussed about what is composite key. For further queries, please visit explodatabase.com. Thank you.